problems with terrorism, which is something that happens all the time. But to see it in the middle of your own city, in Durban, South Africa, where people say that we stand with the oppressed people of the world is really scary. Uh, given what's happening in Palestine, and, uh, given what's happening all around the world, in Syria, in Iraq, in DRC, uh, it's, it's the people that are being demonized and we've been made to look like terrorists and not freedom fighters. Um, the, the exhibition also had the names of Hassan and Hussein on the wall. Um, those of you that are not familiar, those are the names of the grandsons of the last prophet Muhammad, please be upon him. Um, so again, I think an attempt to link uh, terrorism with Islam or, or uh, you know, uh, Islamists, which is another word that the corporate mainstream media has invented. I still don't know what that is. Um, so it was quite a shock to the system. Today we hear that exhibition is actually not there anymore. It's been taken out, we believe, yesterday morning. We have one photograph which we will be uploading, guys. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, this is where we are. Suddenly it's gone. We believe there's going to be an exhibition on Palestine here, possibly, that some uh, Durban community activists are talking to the city about that, and the city is actually agreed uh, because we need permission for these things. Um, and, and we don't know. I mean, what are you saying? You remove the terrorist exhibition, you put the Palestine one, so you effectively say they're exactly the same thing. So ask yourself, what is going on in the city? What is going on in the country? What is going on around the world? And most importantly, occupy your mind because freedom begins within.